Okay, this is the second attempt at this video because the first one I sort of lost the plot a little bit and my good lady advised me that it probably wasn't uh, the most professional thing to put out there considering that I do have people that follow me that are of quite a young age. Uh, some of you may be aware and may have seen a recent um, video by Darren. Um, for those of you that remember, I posted about Darren recently because he was severely ill in hospital just up to Christmas. Now, quick explanation, Darren is a wheelchair athlete who suffers from cerebral ataxia. Uh, putting things quite simply, his brain is degenerating, it's rotting. Uh, it's a terminal disease, there is no cure. It's a very painful disease, he has already lost the use of his legs. And somehow, um, he uh, manages to carry on. Um, he has no speech node left anymore in his brain yet he's still able to speak, which defies medical science really, they don't understand how or why. The bottom line is he is one hell of a determined and driven individual and will refuse to bow down to this disease. Anyway, the video that Darren posted uh, was quite long, so I'll summarise it the best I can. Uh, I believe in 2012 he competed as a wheelchair athlete at the British Finals. Uh, he was the only athlete, so by default he did win. However, he went backstage and an hour later he still hadn't been on stage because they'd forgotten to put him on stage. So they then rushed him on stage and asked him to treat it as a little bit of a guest spot. He didn't. He posed as he would normally and used every moment he could on stage for his time, which... Good on him, he had every right to. He'd worked hard and he'd earned the right to be there. He was presented with no trophy. He was presented with no medal. And basically shuffled off stage. He was, though, the British wheelchair champion. Sometime later, he was invited down to Sugar's Gym to collect his trophy. Now, firstly, I find it disgusting that... He should have to travel all the way to Sugar to collect his trophy. This is no reflection on Sugar, and apparently from down says Sugar was a complete gentleman and really nice, very welcoming. But surely the UK BFF should have made the effort to deliver the trophy to him, seeing it was their mess up in the first place. Anyway, he started dieting for the next year's show, 2013. And after 12 weeks of dieting, he received an email from a judge informing him that the class was actually not going to be going ahead. It had been stopped because there was low attendance. Now, I find it disgusting that he was notified at this point and that the drop of the class was not made more public sooner. But it gets worse. He was then invited to compete in the States as a pro. They'd heard about him and they, they wanted him. All that needed to happen was Bill Turney needed to sanction his pro card. Bill refused to do so. And still at this point, Darren was loyal to the UK BFF. The following year, the letter arrived again. And again, Bill refused to sanction his pro card. Now, this has annoyed me immensely. I class Darren as a good friend. He's a man who I have the utmost respect and admiration for. Uh, I find him inspirational. Very much so. Um, he truly is one of life's real gentlemen. And some trumped up, egotistical, arrogant, self-important little toe rag namely Bill Turner has decided that he's going to stop him from competing because he refuses to give him his pro card there is no competition for Darren in this country with the UK BFF there's not a wheelchair class in the UK BFFF so what difference does it make to Bill Turner whether he has his pro card or not the Americans deemed he good enough to compete so why hasn't he got it? You know, Darren stayed loyal to the UK BFF for years. And this is how they reward him. Now the UK BFF are currently going round, going on about honour and loyalty and what it means. 
but they're scum. They're not loyal to their own competitors. And Bill Turney is the biggest scum of them all. The man is an egomaniac. He's egotistical, he's arrogant, he's rude. I don't know who the hell he thinks he is. I mean, I'm not a fan of Bill from my own personal experience. I find him obnoxious. Um, in another age and another time, um, <laughs> other words would probably have been said, but I'm an older and more mature and more sensible individual now. However, his treatment of Darren is absolutely disgusting. I don't know who the effing hell he thinks he is. <laughs> that man has more integrity, honour, in his little finger than Bill Turney has in his whole body. If Bill took the time to actually talk to Darren, one, he'd realise what an amazing individual he is, and two, he might actually learn a thing or two about humility. Darren is an incredible person, let alone an incredible athlete who has achieved amazing things against all odds. And if there's anyone who deserves that pro card, it's him. But no, Bill won't give it him. Now I know at one of the finals, Bill asked if Darren was still friends with Scott Horton. And Darren said that he was, that they were good friends. Bill was obviously displeased by this and grunted and walked off. And I can't help thinking that that had some influence on the fact that Bill will not give him his pro card. It's disgusting. It is outright disgusting. Who the hell does the man think he is? He's the president of a federation for the athletes. He doesn't own the athletes. He doesn't control it. All if it wasn't for the athletes, he wouldn't even be there. The last 12 months have seen massive changes in the UK BFF. It's lost some of its best judges uh, with Mike and Leisha. They were the UK BFF as far as I'm concerned. They were the only consistently solid judges that was there. And they were very hard working. You now have idiots like uh, Sean Riley and his missus increasing their foothold and power and they are just as bad as Bill. They are other egotistical, power-hungry idiots that haven't got a clue. It's disgusting. Changes need to happen. It's long overdue. I know Aaron is campaigning for changes as well. Uh, me and him don't particularly see eye to eye on a lot of subjects, but you know, he does have a point. It does need to change. The di dictatorship has gone on too long. It's about time the athletes were put first and not the pockets of the Federation. You know, the, the whole setup. I mean, when I judge for them, the, the Northern judges, we got told nothing. We got nothing. We got no opportunities. It was all based around the Southern people. We were just there and handy because it meant they didn't have to pay as much out in travel to get us to judge the Northern shows. It's, it's disgusting. It is totally and absolutely disgusting. The treatment they've done of Darren is beyond reproach. It, it's... Unreal. I'm, I cannot believe the arrogance and ignorance of that man. I cannot believe the way he's treated such a wonderful, amazing, incredible individual. Darren deserves better than that. He's done so much for that Fed. He's represented that Fed in so many ways. Never spoke ill of them. And this is how they treat him. It's disgusting. Darren should have his pro card. Times need to change. Enough is enough.